Now let's look at the resistance of a wire. For a wire with length L and cross-sectional area A, it is found that the resistance of the wire is rho, the resistivity, times L divided by A. So the resistance of a wire depends on the size of the wire and the resistivity of the wire. What do you think the resistivity depends on? It depends on the material of the wire. And what is the unit for resistivity? If I solve for the resistivity, rho equals to R times A divided by the L, which means unit-wise, it's ohms times the area meter squared divided by the length, that's meters. So one of the meters cancel, that means the unit for resistivity is ohms times meters. For example, the resistivity for copper is 1.68 times 10 to the negative 8th ohm meter. The resistivity of tungsten is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 8th ohm meter. The resistivity for tungsten is bigger than that of copper, so tungsten is not as good a conductor as copper. This equation tells us that the longer the wire, the larger the resistance. Now let's compare these two wires with the same cross-sectional area and connected to the same voltage battery. But the second wire is twice as long. Since V equals to ED, for both wires, there's the same voltage. But this one is twice as long, that means the D is longer. That means the electric field for this longer wire must be weaker. Weaker electric field means the electrons would have a slower drift velocity. The two wires have the same cross-sectional area, so there is the same number of free electrons at a cross-section. Same number of electrons flowing at a slower speed means the current in this wire is less. V equals to IR. Same voltage for both wires, the longer wire has less current, that means the longer wire has larger resistance. So the longer wire has larger resistance. This equation also tells us that for the same material wire, the smaller the cross-sectional area, which means the thinner the wire, the larger the resistance. Now let's compare these two wires with the same length and uh, connected to the same voltage battery but the second wire has a half the cross-sectional area. The two wires have the same length. V equals to ED. They have the same voltage, same length, same D. That means uh, the electric field must also be the same. Same strength electric field. That means uh, the electrons, they would have the same drift speed but the thinner wire has fewer free electrons at a cross-section. Fewer electrons at the same speed means less current. And V equals to IR, same voltage for the two wires, but the thinner wire has less current. That means the thinner wire must have bigger resistance. So the thinner wire has bigger resistance.